By now you've realized that a great business idea is only half of your battle. The other half is finding an investor and then pitching your idea successfully. And on a pitch day, the competition is fierce. Watch this video to get ready to win over an investor on the day of your next, next pitch event. When you're pitching to potential investors, a good idea is only half the equation. Investors are looking for the complete package that will make them money. That's why you need to subscribe to my channel, Pitch Decks Wow Investors. I'll be posting videos every week with great ideas entirely focused on improving your chances of winning the attention of investors. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when they're posted. Hi, I'm Antonia from aok.com.au and I've been successfully creating pitch presentations for my clients for over 10 years and I'm also an angel investor. I know what I'm talking about and have used that skill to help my clients raise millions in equity. I have a passion for drilling into a client's business idea to create real clarity and work on the strengths and weaknesses of their business message. As I've said earlier, your pitch deck is only one part of your story. The other part is the skill of delivering a winning pitch. And that's what we're going to be covering today. You've gathered your courage and signed yourselves up for a presentation day. And now you need to figure out how are you going to deliver a pitch presentation that outshines your competition? To make sure you're pitch ready, I'm going to give you four essential elements potential investors are going to be looking for on the day. They will want you to have a compelling story, feel confidence in the founder, and be able to see you have a solid plan and find your vision engaging. So how will you go about all that when you have such a short time to present? Number one, have a compelling story. Firstly, every second will be precious, so avoid small talk. Get to the point, but be authentic in the process. The audience doesn't need to know what you had for dinner but investors will want to know where your idea came from and the passion that comes with it. One great idea is to include storytelling in your pitch. It's a proven way to capture your audience's, audience's attention and increase recall of what you said. I created a great video about storytelling. It will give you a few tips on how to implement storytelling in your pitch and why it works so well. You really should check it out to get that extra advantage on pitch day. You'll find the link for it in the description. Don't forget that even though you're pitching to an audience, you're still having a conversation with them. If you're presenting a complex product or service, you'll need to keep your pitch simple and use jargon sparingly. It may sound simplistic, but you should be using language that aims to be concise, easy to understand, and credible. Two. Confidence is the key, especially if you are the founder. If you are the founder and you're giving the pitch on the day, investors will be watching you very closely to measure whether you have the skill sets to achieve the goals you're proposing. You will need to be confident, powerful, and engaging. My suggestion is that you practice your pitch presentation until you, you feel you can do it without slides in front of you. Nothing shows greater confidence than someone that knows their story well enough to, to not even need notes. However, that isn't all they'll be looking at. If they look into your business idea after the presentation, the founder's skill sets need to match the needs of a growing company. It's best to be honest with yourselves and plan for a future team member who will have the experience to take the company forward if you don't already have a person in place that, that can do that. Being able to assess yourself and your team members against what the company will need without bias will demonstrate to investors that your vision is in line with the company's needs. Have you pitched on a pitch day? Let me know in the comments. Tip three, have a solid plan and vision for your business. I have no doubt you are going to have a solid plan and vision for your business, but the trick here is to convey that to your your potential investors. The primary purpose of a pitch is to outline your business objectives and show how funding will help to expand it. 
you need to ensure you can explain how you plan to use their funds and demonstrate to them that their funds will be put to good use to grow the business and more importantly, make the money in the process. It's your job to show them that you will look after those funds wisely. So you'll need to start the process of building up that trust in your pitch. You're also going to need to prove to them that you're a low risk. You need to show investors your business model, and if you have it, the initial uptake of your product or service over time. They will want to see a well thought out plan and how you're going to achieve your business goals. In short, you will need to know your business now and into the future. I strongly suggest you include timelines in your presentation. Setting targets for the business will prove to investors how serious you are about achieving your goals and demonstrate you have a structured plan for your future growth. Part of a solid plan will be to know your financials inside and out. Knowing how your financials will play out both with and without an investor's injection of cash can demonstrate a realistic view of your business. Speak with precision and don't make assumptions on numbers. For instance, don't say, oh, we turned over about two million. That won't work. What you need to say is, we turned over 2.2 million last financial year. Being precise will give you more credibility and give them more confidence in your business. Part of knowing your business inside and out is doubling down on your financials, as they're a crucial part of your pitch deck. I created a video dedicated, <laughs> dedicated to nailing your financials, which you should check out. The link to that video is below. This may sound a bit odd, but I would also recommend you don't thank them for their time. Your time is just as valuable as theirs. Express your appreciation to the audience through your body language, during the presentation, and your interactions with them afterwards. It takes a cool head not to come across as anxious and still show a level of interest. Talk about a balancing act. I suggest you bear in mind that an investment relationship goes two ways. You need to be sure about them just as much as they need to be sure about you and your business. If you have a great idea, they'll be as keen as you are to get started. How you present on the day is so essential, and nerves will come into play because, let's face it, you have a lot riding on the outcome. Take the time to practice your presentation. Be confident, honest, and above all, be prepared to put yourself out there. You also need to make sure you have the key points investors want to see in your pitch deck. That's simple enough. Download my guide. You'll find the link for it below. It has all the handy hints and tips you need to expand on those points. I've successfully used it for my clients for years and know it works. I know creating a pitch deck can be daunting. That's why I created a range of services to help. You'll find them on my website. You simply choose from one of the four options and upload your presentation, and I'll start working on it straight away. The website link is in the description below. Do you have any questions about pitching that I missed? Let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure to cover them in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you're notified when I post more amazing pitch deck tips, and click that thumb to like my video. Thanks in advance for the like. You're a star. You may hear no a lot when you're out there pitching, but don't give up. The investor you're looking for may not be in the audience today, but they are out there. So keep on pitching with passion. You are just one pitch away from success.